not in here. Oh, you just pulled in? Yeah, I, I don't go in the trails in here. Okay, it, give you a heads up, that's a no-go. I mean, no, I know, yeah, I've been... Public, I've, you know, I've I've been co- the case is, I mean, you can take me all you want. I've I'll been, tell you right now, no, you but I, here, we confiscate you. I know, I've been coming here for years, man. I fish in here, I, okay. I do everything by the book. Okay, good, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, yeah, even there's some spots, because we had a complaint about two weeks ago about some uh, dirt bikes in the trails. So, I went through and I was patrolling, and uh, I actually caught one of the guys, and he did, it, he did, it was registered and everything like that, but I'm like, no, yeah, I, I, like, oh, you can't go in the woods like this? I'm like, no, uh, No, yeah, I talked to the, uh, your sergeant, the big guy with the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I, I went to him and I, to the office, and I was talking to him and well, stuff. Well, he's smart because he's the one that runs all the uh, KTV details. Yeah, I got caught by him one time when I came from Puerto oh, Rico yeah. out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a hard guy to forget. He always goes No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right, no, no problem. You're good. I just want to make sure. I, you know what? Um, it must be a kid on a, um, some of those mountain bikes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't run, man. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> Everything's up to date, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Lights, horns, everything. Do you have any do you have quads, too, or just... No, nah, just like... Yeah. I don't like quads. <laughs> yeah, quads. We actually, we don't really use quads too much. Um, because, uh, I don't know, they had uh, one, of the, one of the horses that broke his leg like two years ago. Yeah. In two spots, so they gave us these uh, side-by-sides. Yeah, like yeah. the Polaris. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice. Yeah. They're not, they're not like dune buggies or something that you see like, you know, guys racing with, but uh, they're not yeah. too bad. Not, yeah, yeah I, I remember your sergeant uh, going back there and the other guys with quads and stuff, public safety I think it was called or we, something. Well, they would do a joint task force uh, yeah. to go out with, uh, pub, you know, public safety, deputy sheriffs and stuff like that. And they just go around and any spots where there was a lot of illegal ATV activity, guys would just go out. And yeah. And then plus 50 a day, I guess, for every day in the impound. So how much did that end up costing? Uh, we, d- we just uh, went to the auction and got it back for like 200 bucks. So, so we waited till the auction and, and we still got it back. Oh, you don't it's let that become public knowledge. I guess people just do that. They're like, yeah. the problem is, is if you go there, and you just, I guess if you just let your ATV, because public safety, because we used to hold them. We have a spot where we yeah. But uh, public safety actually has their, I think their impound yard is right off of, uh, where did you get your ATV from? I, I think it was like West Hampton or something like that. West Hampton, yeah. Yeah, they, they would bring some over there. Where did you get caught? I think it, I think it was in, uh, Eastport or something like that. I can't really, I, at that time I was really young, so I didn't know. In Puerto Rico, we used to ride the quads on the street. All you just, you have to drive like a car, you know, respect. Yeah. And these guys just yeah, came... Yeah, in Puerto Rico, they tell you to run red in the middle of the night. Yeah. So you don't get carjacked. My cousin, my cousin lives over there. I got family over there. Yeah. And uh, it happened to a couple of my cousins. They would take... They, uh, one of them worked for a hotel out there. I forget which one. Uh, my cousin Lily, she, she got stopped. She stopped for like two seconds. She got turned red. But next thing you know, I see a bunch of guys come in. <laughs> yeah. Get me out of the car and take off. I'm like, yeah. I, it's rough over there. Yeah, I don't go there. My mom wanted me to go visit. I, I'd rather stay out here where I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're safe in San Juan. San Juan's not bad. Like when I went, it was probably like 15 years ago, me and my friend, we just took a vacation out there. And uh, we, we met up with these like, girls. And they, they turned around and they're like, this ain't Puerto Rico. This is like fake Puerto Rico. <laughs> Yeah. So I started making a stick, and I'm like, you know, I'm screaming in Spanish, so I'm like, I'm going to knock somebody out. Yeah. 
It's not worth it, yeah. Yeah. At Juntas? Where is it? At Juntas? It's close to Ponce? Ponce, yeah, it's, right, That's uh, a really bad spot. Yeah, it's it's nice, I think it's nice up there, right? Yeah. It's, it's uh, some parts, but it's like everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But one of the guys I work with, uh, he loves Dominican girls, and he's always going to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no, no. My boss, like our family in Spain, yeah. I won't go there either. There's a bunch of terrorist stuff going on <laughs> over there. I'm like, you can't go anywhere, man. Yeah. <laughs>